Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In this episode, a couple of my subscribers, Jason and Gary, join me on a scouting mission. We try to locate an old wagon toll road where the Spanish Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and the Mormon Trail merge together. So come join us as we scout this area out and see if we can find anything good. At the end of this video, we will select last week's winner of the Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $50 Amazon gift card. And at the very end of this video, I also have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. So guys, let's get started right now. Hey guys, I am back to metal detecting today. We're actually chasing some history. And I got some of my new friends are actually subscribers to my channel over here is uh, uh, Jason and Gary. He just got here and getting ready. And uh, we're at a site that uh, used to be an old toll road. And when I talk about old toll roads, I'm talking about it used to uh, be a place for the wagon trails right where I'm standing now and uh, it used to be uh, I think this particular area was built in 1867 though it's been active trail for much longer than that but this is an area that I've been trying to chase for a while and with a little bit of help from Jason and Gary and a few others um, we're able to get here today I got the little tiny six inch coil on and I'm coming straight over to a foundation I'm not sure what this foundation was but I do believe this is exactly what area that I'm looking for. So guys, I'm going to get right... Right off the bat. I hear a little bit of iron grunt now. Sounds better. So this is a very snaky area. So it iron maybe. Let's see what this is. Ah, I see it. There it is. Right off the bat. One of them thingies. Staple. Okay. So, something like that. It's not going to be all that old. Got some old pottery. See the unique glazing. It's lighter than what I would expect for being old. I see a few more pieces of it. I'm going to save that one piece just to see if it's old or not. Oh, 
a lot of garbage in this area. We got Gary down there in the snake pit. And uh, we have Jason digging a hole over here. So Jim's just trying to find something. See guys, just what you expect when you're chasing history, right? Somebody lost their pack of condoms. Expires 10-1 uh, of 2024. Hey! <laughs> Not something I really wanted to find out here. Okay guys, I think I got my first coin. I just dug that hole. Let's go down and see what we got here. Looks like a dime. And we'll take it all the time. I'm thinking it says 1990-something. A 1992 dime. <laughs> but I'm on the board for a coin. <laughs> All right. Another old soldered can lid. And I'm going to put that right here with my pile of them. Because every time I reach for my tools, I yank it out. So... I'll form a pile as I'm going to clean this area up. Yep. Okay, got a target here. Actually, it sounded better once they started digging. There we go. It's just a lot of garbage around here Let's see if we got it all right maybe a couple targets in that hole all right all right let's start with the one here Hey, Jason. Hey, Gary. I think I found something. I can't tell if it's a coin or if it's just a flat button. I got, I, I don't. Here. You got one? Yeah, as a, I just for the first time after 47 years, what I can't is that? read up close, but I can see from far. I think it's a coin. A little tiny shade. Is that a... An old weird Chinese something uh, coin or something, or is it? I know I scratched it. <laughs> Here, you know I'm baffled. I really, it, to be honest with you, I can't see it that well, even with the magnifying glass. Huh? Stay there. Slip it in the other one. There's foundations all right there. Is there really? Yeah, in a big hole, so maybe it was like a cellar or something. I don't know. Do you find anything over there? No, I just uh, I cans. see the part of you, the end of United, then I see states. It so has an, is it an actual coin? Let me see. It has an old star. That's it. Right. The bottom has something. Uh, no, no, it's getting up. That's the hard part. <laughs> well, I had I had one similar to that. My wife used it in the garden. She doesn't know what she did with it. it has you use that. your metal detector and uncover it. <laughs> I don't know where she put it. 
<laughs> no, it, it has kind of a... Uh, Maybe it's a token or something. Well, it could be. It has three uh, Roman numerals for three. Then there's a uh, there's one, two, three. There's buttons. That's something we'd have because if you look, I don't even know if you can. But it has that. That's like a C or something. It has the. Uh... You know what I think that is. And on top of it, you, that's a three cent nickel. It's got a little extra magnification there if you want to try that. Oh boy. I think that might be like a three cent nickel. I didn't even know there were three cent nickels. You can see in that. You I don't know the, if there is one or not. You, but you, you can see United States, the end of. Uh, I, that's what I was seeing on there. I'll put it in the sun. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, Here, right. I'll get out of your way. There you go. Let's see if my camera's still on. It is. D. You ever see anything like that? It's like a star in the middle, right? Yeah, I With thought me? it. I thought it was like a With Jewish a star or Star David. With almost like uh, you know the pillars in the Lincoln Memorial kind of. That's what it kind of looks like. Some kind of pillars. Want to try that? Yeah. Here's your. Uh, here. Take yours. Here's yours. Mm. You guys are smart. You guys have these. That's courtesy yeah. of Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen. 53. Oh, man. 18, so we're right on the right spot. That's probably a, uh, a token for the toll. Maybe. I don't know. Well, hell, I don't know. I, I don't even know. You know I think they made a, um, I don't know. To be honest with you, I have no idea. Yeah, to be honest, I, I've seen on YouTube, I've never seen anything like that. And uh, I've never seen anything where somebody's pulled that before. And I've seen that. I've never seen that. I yeah, that's why I'm baffled. I don't know what it is. 1853 on there. Well, that's the thing. I, you know, I've seen on YouTube the uh, the gold ones and this and that, but I, I've never seen that ever. I don't even I've know. never seen one before, yeah. ever. I don't I know. I had no idea what it was. I thought, well, you know, because... I knew it was... Yeah, uh, I thought it was a flat button. Phone. What did it ring up as? Uh, 18. Oh, really? <laughs> See, and I, all I dig is... Are you in field? I'm in uh, Park 1. Park 1? Park 1, uh, field would be okay, but I like the tone of Park 1. <laughs> How about that? It reminds me of Beach 1. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. I mean, geez. I never thought you'd find something like that over here. Well, that's what we're here to find. Yeah. That's what we're here to find. So feel free to hunt around here too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm digging anything and everything just to see if I can get an identification of. Yeah, because people have been coming up since what? Uh... 18, 19, 18, 20, since the Spanish here. Right. Yeah. Well, the Spanish Trail has got a long history dating back from 1700s up through here. This far up here in the 17? No, I think the history states that they used this trail to get up to Monterey. So that was 1700s. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, we got Gary over here. And I'm working my way and this is an old foundation here. I see the foundation and you're in what, the fireplace? Uh, I think that's either a cellar hole or maybe a well. I don't know. I don't want to go in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to drop. Oh uh, yeah, you can see the brick. You can see the ground all, all burnt, right? Oh yeah, I'm in the foundation here, huh? Yeah, I am standing in the house is where I'm at. Yeah, you can see the wood is burned, but a lot of stuff is burned. It's burned many times through here. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I got trek through this okay sage oh yeah um, look 
that was, that was concrete or what? That may have been a privy. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Or root cellar. Or well. You would think they'd just bring the water up from the river. Yeah. Did you get down in there? Not really. Go check it out. Nothing rattling. That's kind of weird you want to do it. <laughs> I get why. You can, you know what? I wonder if this was. It doesn't look like a dump because it's not full of trash at all. Yeah, I think it probably was some type of root cellar. Something right here. Try that thing right here. Where I was digging. Maybe up this way a little more. Yeah. Nothing? That's a lot of iron right here. More towards the rock. No? I think it's falsing off an end of iron. Okay, so the rebar or something? Not sure. That must have been a piece of glass. That's what it is. Saw something shiny. Anything shiny, you know, like a little kid. There you go. It's a 12. Buffalo nickels ring up like 12s. I'm thinking that's, that's that piece of metal right there. Yeah. Yep. Aluminum foil. Okay, well I got something here. It says 1947-1948. No, it's... I'm not sure what the heck it is. But it's dated 1941 to 1948. I really can't tell what it is. Okay, I found a... Looks like more of a modern... Feels aluminum. Bullet casing. Uh, it might be the old water tower here. This is the uh, how I actually found the location. All right, I just moved the dirt to right here. So we got a target right here. Let's move it down. I think I got it. Whatever that is. Hmm. Who knows? All right. Look how beautiful it is up here. You got the snow on the mountains over there. These are the San Gabriel Mountains. And this view here of history. Everybody who came to Los Angeles, pretty much if they didn't come via the ocean and they came from the East Coast, they had to travel through the desert. When they made it over this mountain, the desert kind of came to an end. And this is, that direction would be Los Angeles. And almost everybody would head through here. And that's why we're out here today, guys. <laughs> Well, I found a real noisy area because there are so many bullet casings. And if you look down, there's a bunch more. 
all different things. It's flat. A lot of them up here. They must have just been sitting up here and shooting away. All right, I'm not going to pick them all up here. There's so many of them. Well, I couldn't get it out with my foot, so let's loosen that up. Look at that. These are all the iron pieces I'm finding. Foiled by foil. Okay. Yeah, I wonder what the heck. wonder if it was on a wagon or something. That's what I'm wondering. Because yeah. that hitch right there, that's not... That way, I don't think that was for a car or anything. No. No. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is the... Uh, if I have it easily accessible. This is the other little weird relic that I had with the date on it on the inside of I have no idea. It looks like some type of tag. Let's see. It's, uh... 1947 to 48. Dog tax. What is it? Dog tax, I believe, from what it says. <laughs> so, they, they charged for your dog back then, too? Poor dogs. You know, from the 1850s or so, you come, if you're right around here, you were paying tax for somebody. Isn't that the truth, though? All right. I'm going to have the camera on for you guys who don't think. Because I still don't know what this is yet. Mostly foiled at that number. foil so guys I think we've actually found our best find so far today <laughs> and that's one of these beautiful California poppies on the middle of this old road can you believe that wagons used to come down this road huh that's crazy a new target let's finish this one solid 12 most of it's in foil We got a nickel. 
They got a buffalo nickel. Do that thing. It is a buff. Sweet. All right. All right, I didn't have the camera on, but I just dug a, I think it's a two or three ring bullet, so I think it's old. And I got something here in this hole. Let me, let's see if I can get this out. It's out. Oh, my back is killing me. Oh, Jim. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to carefully filter through here because my back is hurting. I need to stand straight up. And it's starting to heat up out here. I think it's another bullet. I just dug a three ringer. It's a coin. I got another coin. One cent. It's an Indian head. Eighteen sixty five. Yeah, I like this spot down here. See if there's anything else in this hole. Oh, we still got more targets in the hole. All right, let me set that down. Oh, my back, my back. Oh, Jim, you're back. Let's see what this one is. Oh, shotgun shell. I see it right away. All right. Okay, guys, I will. Yeah, actually, people have been digging up here before. Hey, Jason, is this area known for gold? Theoretically, yes. Because I can see, like, where people have been digging samples. Because if there has to be the gold up on top of the hill up there, yeah. Goes down. Right. That would make sense. I, I found a lot of bullet casings. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Once again, I'm sorry.
somewhere here, huh? Is that it? No. So we know it's right there. One of the reasons you're not using earphones, or I'm not using earphones, and you don't want to use earphones out here, is so you can hear the rattles from the snakes. So, there we go. I have no idea this melted metal. Just some lead. Hmm. All right, Let's see if we can find some good stuff. All right. I see something, but it's not. No, I can't even tell what that is. No. So nice. Right in the same area? This was, no, they were probably 30 yards from each other. So this was just right over here, and this one was closer to that tree over there. Mm. So, both of them just random. <laughs> and I got a three ring bullet in here, but I got so much sharp shit in here, I don't want to try to pull that out. Do something because a guy we're talking about a guitar, we're out in the sticks and we run into a guitar. Yeah, yeah I, we found a guitar <laughs> in the sticks. Yeah, there's the base of it right there. Yeah. Is it Gibson from the 20s? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I bet you it's a pretty good guitar at one time. Somebody is this the hanging tree? No, oh. no this is too, too new of a tree. Guys, I finally got a nice high tone. Hopefully, it's something good. You know, always need that laundry money. How about some ancient laundry money? Sounds better and better, doesn't it? No. Did you see something? It's down there. All right, who's got a good healthy back? I'm gonna let somebody go in there. Cause Jim's back is not handling it. You need me to hold that? All right. It's over this side, right? I'll come in and pinpoint for you. It's 
Still 29.30, says shallow. Dead center? Dead center. Give it right here on the edge, a whack. Right here? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, there it is. See it? Right there in front of you. Son of a gun! All right. <laughs> there went my piece of silver <laughs> so guys here's the wrap up I had a blast with Gary and Jason today chasing history and scouting for history is uh, always a chore and you can see the chore right in front of me was digging a whole lot of garbage I mean I think somebody could actually mine the brass off the side of that hill <laughs> and that's no joke uh, but we were hunting for 1850 to 1900 uh, history. It was a historic area. And um, we did find a few items that fit that category. Now, I did find a lot of lead uh, bullets, a lot of garbage. The garbage didn't fit the time period. The uh, casings didn't fit the time period. Uh, I found a dog tag that was... Uh, uh, dog tax tag uh, dated 1947 1948 I'll get a closer image to that Prince Albert and the can top I know that's exactly what it is I found plenty of those throughout my lifetime some interesting pottery but I think it's more modern than it is old okay here's what I think is period three ring bullet two ring bullet we did find um, a three cent coin guys that's the first time in my life that I've ever found a three cent coin because I never knew one even existed to be honest with you I'm not a coin collector guys I'm just a metal detectorist that hunts you know and when I find something of interest just like this I gotta look it up <laughs> thank you Jason so much for looking it up by the time I got home guys and looked at my phone I had already received an email from Jason. He already found out what it was, and it is a three-cent coin. I'll get you a close-up image of it. Um, and I found that pretty close to the dime. So the dime was found in the upper plateau area. Um, and then when we walked down into the river is where I found the buffalo nickel. And then climbing up the slope a little bit, I found the Indian head penny. But that's also where we were finding the bullets okay here's a couple more three rings okay now I don't know a lot about the different bullets you know I don't hunt the colonial era um, fields that you find back east I'm a SoCal guy so I hunt the beaches so my knowledge of the bullets are very limited, extremely limited. 
So I'll have to do some historic checking on these. But I am very much interested in finding out a little bit more about some of the items that we found. Okay guys, the scouting mission was fairly successful. Found a couple of time period items. It was some tough digging. What did we learn on this scouting mission today? I learned that 90% of that area is undetectable at the moment. I do know when another big fire blows through that area because they get a lot of fires there. And once another fire goes through there, I think that is when I'll go back out there and detect that area pretty hard. Because if you look what we had to climb through just to be able to swing a few inches of that metal detector over. So 90% of it was undetectable. And what was detectable was very, very trashy. A lot of bullet casings and a lot of bullets. But when we go on a scouting mission, we're scouting. We're looking for areas that are great to hunt. We know there's some good relics in that area, but it's just too difficult to hunt the way the conditions are right now. But what we did know is we learned a little bit about that area and I'm just that much more knowledgeable, not this much more, but this much more knowledgeable about that area and with so much history of that area, you have to do these small little scouting trips just to go to the next step, to the next step. And then eventually you stumble upon something great. And that's what scouting missions are all about. The potential of finding something great. So that's what this tutori Tutorial Tuesday was all about, guys. This scouting mission, all right? If you're not scouting and you're not hunting, you're not finding, <laughs> all right? Just remember that history doesn't find itself. You have to go out there and find it, right? Or make it, one or the other. <laughs> so guys, let's select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $50 Amazon gift card. Okay guys, I'm in beach one. All right, I got a target right here. Would you dig it? All right, let's go 90 degrees. Let's go to all metal. Let's go back to all metal. I mean, go back 90 degrees. If you would dig it, comment below and let me know what you think it is and you'll have an opportunity to win a $25 Amazon gift card. It may be a $50 Amazon gift card depending on if, because as of right now, no one has guessed last week's Would You Dig It? So this possibly could be for a $50 Amazon gift card, but it could be for a $25 Amazon gift card. So comment below on what you think it is. All right, let's dig this thing up. And it's a pool tab. You guys weren't fooled by that fool's tab, were you? Okay, guys, it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? For a $50 Amazon gift card, going to pick a winner. Comment must contain the words, so I'm just going to put in tab because it was a pool tab. Congratulations, Gina McKinney. Send me an email and I will send you out your $50 Amazon gift card. Congratulations, Gina McKinney. 
send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section on my channel page. And I will send you out your $50 Amazon gift card. Hey guys, don't get discouraged. You know what? We have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway happening right now. So let's check that out. And this one is for a $25 Amazon gift card. Okay guys, I have one here for you. All right. Let's go 90 degrees. I'm in park one, all metal mode. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below on what you think it is. And you have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Go 90 degrees again, guys. So guys, would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below and let me know what you think it is and you'll have an opportunity to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video and take a look at this gold found video.